Russian Airborne Forces. Main Battle Tank. T-72B-3. The T-72 is a family of Soviet Russian main battle tanks that entered production in 1969. The T-72 was a development of the T-64, which was troubled by high costs and its reliance on immature developmental technology. About 25,000 T-72 tanks have been built, and refurbishment has enabled many to remain in service for decades. It has been widely exported and has seen service in 40 countries and in numerous conflicts. The T-90 introduced in 1992 is a development of the T-72B, production and development of the T-72 continues today. Airborne IFV BMD-1 The BMD-1 is a Soviet airborne amphibious tracked infantry fighting vehicle which was introduced in 1969 and first seen by the West in 1970. It can be dropped by parachute and although it resembles the BMP-1 it is in fact much smaller. The BMD-1 was used as an IFV by the Soviet Army's airborne divisions. BMD-2 The BMD-2 is a Soviet airborne infantry fighting vehicle, introduced in 1985. It is a variant of BMD-1 with a new turret and some changes done to the hull. It was developed as a replacement for the BMD-1, but it failed to replace it completely because of the downfall of the Soviet economy in the 1980s. NATO gave it the designation BMD M1981-1. BMD-3 The BMD-3 is a light infantry fighting vehicle originating in the Soviet Union that is fully amphibious and airdroppable with crew inside. It is intended to be a fire support platform for use by airborne and air assault units. It is not an upgraded BMD-1, but a completely redesigned vehicle with a hydropneumatic suspension, new hull, a more powerful 2V062 diesel engine, and fitted with the complete turret of the BMP-2. BMD-4M The BMD-4 combat vehicle of the airborne is an amphibious infantry fighting vehicle originating from post-Cold War Russia. Originally designated as the BMD-3M, the chassis of the BMD-4 is the same as that of the BMD-3, because it was developed on the same basis. This armored fighting vehicle is one of the lightest in its class, possessing a substantial amount of firepower. The vehicle was designed to transport Russian airborne troops, increasing its mobility, armament, and protection on the battlefield. Airborne APC BTRD. The BTRD is a Soviet airborne multi-purpose tracked armored personnel carrier. It was introduced in 1974 and first seen by the West in 1979 during the Soviet-Afghan War. BTRD stands for Armored Transporter of the Airborne. It is based on the BMD-1 Airborne IFV. NATO gave it the designation BMD M 1979. BTRMD. The BTRMD Rakushka is a Russian amphibious floating armored personnel carrier. It was created by the design bureau of the Volgograd Tractor Works. Sometimes unofficially called BTRD-3, the armored personnel carrier is based on the BMD-4 amphibious assault vehicle. The main purpose of the armored personnel carrier is to replace the BTRD. Armored Personal Carrier BTR-80 The BTR-80 is an 8x8 wheeled amphibious armored personnel carrier designed in the USSR. It was adopted in 1985 and replaced the previous vehicles, the BTR-60 and BTR-70, in the Soviet Army. It was first deployed during the Soviet-Afghan War. BTR-82AM The BTR-82 is a Russian armored personnel carrier that is a deep modernization of the BTR-80. It was adopted by the Russian Armed Forces in 2013.
Infantry Mobility Vehicle. Typhoon VDV. Typhoon VDV K4386 is a 4x4 mine protected wheeled armored vehicle designed and manufactured by Rem Diesel, a subsidiary of Kamaz. It is the newest member of the Typhoon family of armored vehicles. Typhoon K4386 is intended to support combat missions, crew transportation, logistics, cargo transport, medical support, and other intense armored offensive strikes. Tiger. The Tiger is a Russian 4x4, multipurpose, all-terrain infantry mobility vehicle manufactured by military industrial company, first delivered to the Russian army in 2006. Iveco LMV. Iveco LMV RIS is a 4WD tactical vehicle developed by Iveco and in service with several countries. It has been adopted by the armies of Russia, Albania, Austria, Belgium, Brazil, Norway and Spain. Toros 4x4. The Toros 4x4 armored vehicles family is being offered by the consortium of Entral and UAMZ Group. It is specifically developed to provide fire support to military troops participating in reconnaissance and search and rescue missions. The vehicle also offers enhanced cargo capability, which enables the troops to carry military equipment. Tank Destroyer Two S25 Sprut SD. The Two S25 Sprut SD is a self-propelled tank destroyer or light tank developed and manufactured by the Volgograd tractor plant to meet the requirements of the VDV. The Sprut SD is designed to defeat tanks, hard skin material, and enemy manpower by airborne and amphibious landing forces, as well as by specially designated units of ground forces. Its main armament, the Two A75, is capable of firing APFSDS. HE frag, heat, and ATGM ammunition. This allows the 2S25 firepower to be as powerful as a main battle tank and as maneuverable and amphibious as airborne infantry combat vehicles. BTRRD Robot BTRRD Robot, a BTRD converted into an airborne ATGM team carrier with two 9P135M1 ATGM launchers capable of firing at 5 Spandrel, at 5B Spandrel B, at 4 Spigot, and at 4B Spigot B ATGMs. They can be used by the dismounted ATGM squad or fitted on a pintle mount on the right side of the hull. This is basically a BTRD with a pintle mount added and with missile racks inside the troop compartment. Artillery The 2S9 Nona The 2S9 Nona is an extremely lightweight self-propelled and air-droppable 120mm mortar designed in the Soviet Union, which entered service in 1981. The 2S9 chassis is designated the S120 and based on the aluminium hull of the BTRD airborne multi-purpose tracked armored personnel carrier. More generally, the 120mm mortar is referred to as the Nona, with the 2S9 also known as the Nona S. Although no figures have been released, it is estimated that well over 1,002 S9 were built. 2S42 Lotus The 2S42 Lotus is a new self-propelled mortar system designed for the Russian airborne and naval infantry units. The new vehicle has longer hull, carries more ammunition, and is better protected than the older 2S9 series systems. Mobility, rapid redeployment and air transportability are the key factors of this airborne artillery system. 2S41 Drac The new 2S41 Drac 82mm self-propelled mortar carrier designed to support airborne assault units. For defeating enemy personnel, firing assets and soft skin targets, as well as for blinding observation posts and smoke screening of illuminated areas. MAAM. The MAAM version with a 2B11 120mm mortar and room for 24 120mm mortar rounds. It weighs 1,200 kg and created for the VDV's new helicopter-borne aerosol force. 
2S12 Sony. The 2S12 Sony is a 120mm heavy mortar system used by the Russian Army and other former Soviet states. First fielded in 1981, the 2S12 is a continued development on the towed mortars first used in World War II. D30. The 122mm howitzer D30 is a Soviet howitzer that first entered service in 1960. It is a robust piece that focuses on the essential features of a towed field gun suitable for all conditions. The D30 has a maximum range of 15.4 km, or over 21 km using RAP ammunition. With its striking three-leg mounting, the D30 can be rapidly traversed through 360 degrees. SAM system. Nine K thirty five Strela ten. The nine K thirty five Strela ten is a highly mobile, short range surface to air missile system. It is visually aimed and utilizes optical infrared guidance. The system is primarily intended to engage low altitude threats, such as helicopters. Titsilov. The latest short-range airborne anti-aircraft missile system Titsilov was developed by the Tula Instrument Design Bureau. The new system is made of two blocks of six Sosnoar anti-aircraft missiles mounted on the chassis of a BMP-3. The Titsilov can destroy air targets at a distance of up to 10 km and an altitude of up to 5 km. 2S38 Derivacia PVO. The 2S38 Derivacia PVO is a new Russian self-propelled anti-aircraft gun. It could be a possible replacement for a 2S6 Tunguska air defense gun missile system that was adopted back in the early 1980s. This new mobile air defense system was designed to engage low-flying aircraft, helicopters, UAVs, cruise missiles, air-to-ground missiles. It can even engage single large-caliber artillery rockets. It is fitted with a remotely controlled weapon station armed with a single 57mm cannon. BTRZD Skrezhet BTRZD Skrezhet, a BTRD converted into an airborne air defense vehicle for carrying two manpad teams. The vehicle is fitted with racks for spare manpad missiles. It is fitted with external stowage rails for a manpad on the right-hand side of the roof of the troop compartment. It can carry a complete ZU-23-2 twin anti-aircraft autocannon mount on the roof of the troop compartment. Troops Kamaz-43501 VDV the vehicle replaced the obsolete and withdrawn from production Gaz 66, which was in service for over 40 years. From the basic model Kamaz 4350 this modification differs primarily by its compactness, for which it has a shortened wheelbase, reduced size of tires, frame length and height of the cab, and lowered flatbed with above-wheel niches. Kamaz 5350 Kamaz 5350 is a large military truck with 6x6 wheel configuration, produced by the Kama automobile plant since 2003. It belongs to the Mustang family. Kamaz 65225 The Kamaz 65225 is a tractor truck produced by the Kama automobile plant since 2004. SUV Lot of 4x4 pickup Differences from the civilian version include increased ground clearance, larger wheels with deep tread, lockable front and rear differentials, and a reinforced rear axle. Use cargo The off-road vehicles are capable of carrying large-caliber machine guns, automatic grenade launchers, anti-tank guided missile systems and conventional small arms in their bodies. Buggy Sarmat 2 
The light high-speed all-terrain vehicle is designed to carry three soldiers and is equipped with a 12.7mm cord machine gun and a Plania automatic grenade launcher. SBM VPK-233136 Tiger The vehicle is designed as a high-speed reconnaissance an assault vehicle with high cross-country ability to conduct various operations behind enemy lines, including deep raids. Escadron Light and fast impact buggy, it is capable of speeds in excess of 150 km per hour, and in absolute off-road conditions move up to 130 km per hour. The cabin can accommodate four people, with the driver and passengers in a kind of armored capsule. MAAOP Multipurpose Air Mobility Fire Support Vehicle RP Strike C4 UTV ATVs AM1 The AM1 quad bike is based on the civilian RM500-2. In comparison with the PM500 model, it has an optimized frame design, comfortable two-level seat, sealed boxes under the luggage racks, shockproof plastic, fender extenders, a full set of lighting equipment and basic underbody protection. A1. The base for creation of Army Snowmobile A1 was a well-proven model Taiga Patrol 551 SVT. The Special Army version features mounts for two pairs of skis, a grenade launcher, an AK-74 rifle, and an SVD rifle. Communication and Control System. KSHM R149 MA1 Command Vehicle. The R149MA1 is designed to provide command and communications to tactical level officials. The KSHM can be used as part of the forward mobile operational level control stations. P230T Command Vehicle The new command vehicle is equipped with satellite communications of 10 megabits per second speed of data transmission in shortwave radio stations to ensure reliable communications in a radius of 50 to 300 kilometers. Modern telecom equipment provides protected telephony, video conferences and electronic messages between the formation command and superior headquarters in an uninterrupted regime both in motion and stationary. There is no need to deploy additional equipment. R142DA Command Vehicle The R142 is designed to provide shortwave and ultra-short waves radio communication, provides two-way radio communication with radio stations of the same type at any time of the day or year. The R142 provides simplex radio telephone communication in open and closed mode. R439OD Andromeda D Satellite Communication Station the R439OD Satellite Communication Station is intended to operate in ESSS2 radial, radial nodal and radio ATS networks, in communication networks of low-energy stations as well as for operation along backbone routes via repeaters of spacecrafts in high elliptical and geostationary orbits. R166-0.5DA Medium Power Radio Station it is a medium power radio designed to provide two-way duplex or simplex radio communication in two independent radio directions or networks simultaneously in the shortwave and ultra-shortwave bands. R419L1 Digital Radio Relay Station R419L1 is designed for rapid deployment of independent relay and cable lines, as well as branches of tropospheric and wired lines used to repair communication lines. The equipment provides protected teleconferences and transmits video at a speed of 2048 to 8448 kbs. BMD-1KSH A Command Vehicle 
Soviet Battalion Chief of Staff Command and Staff Vehicle. Designed on the basis of the BTRD Armored Personnel Carrier, series production was launched at the Volgograd Tractor Plant in 1975. In some sources it is referred to as KSHMD. Rheostat 1 Artillery Fire Control Vehicle. The 1B119 Rheostat vehicle is a Soviet and Russian mobile reconnaissance and artillery fire control station. It is based on the BTRD. The 1V119 vehicle is commonly used by the airborne forces and marines to control the fire of the 2C9 Nonanes and its modifications. Zavati Artillery Fire Control Vehicle The equipment to replace the obsolete Rheostat model, which has been in service for 36 years. The latest equipment installed on the complex is capable of detecting and classifying even well-camouflaged objects. Close interaction with aircraft of all classes enhances the accuracy of targeting. Barnaul T Air Defense Control System The Barnaul T performs reconnaissance of air targets and receives information from associated detection systems, generates data on target trajectories, generates a scenario of action by anti-aircraft units, and distributes targets at each level of control taking into account the capabilities of specific units, their position, combat readiness, and the status of ammunition. Electronic Warfare Equipment RP-377 LA Lorandatem Electronic Warfare Complex The RP-377 LA Lorandit is used for reconnaissance of radio propagation sources, jamming and counterjamming. It is capable of jamming a waveband of 3 MHz to 3 GHz. RB-531B Infana Electronic Warfare Complex RB-531B Infana is new Russian multifunctional electronic warfare weapon. The RB-531B combine electronic intelligence, radio direction finding and jamming of VHF radio waves with protection against radio-controlled explosives, protection of groups of vehicles against close combat weapons through setting an aerosol curtain around protected area in motion and when parked. Lear 2 Electronic Warfare Complex The Lear 2 is designed for developing radio emitters, jamming, and suppressing radio electronic means including cellular phone systems. In addition, the system can be used as part of field tests to create realistic tactical electronic situations and imitating the operation of various radio electronic systems. The Lear 2 is based on the 8-ton class Tiger M4x4 high-mobility tactical armored vehicle. RB-341V Lear 3 Electronic Warfare Complex The RB-341V Lear 3 is a modern Russian electronic warfare and radio-technical reconnaissance system specializing in GSM cellular networks. A special feature of the complex is the delivery of electronic warfare and countermeasures to the target by unmanned aerial vehicles. MKTK-1 aids Iudoist. Mobile Automated Complex for Radio, Radio-Technical and Special Monitoring of Information Protection Efficiency and Electromagnetic Environment Assessment. RB-636 SVETKU. A complex for searching and bearing of radio-emitting sources. NBC Protection. RKHM-6 The RKHM-6 vehicle is designed to conduct chemical, radiological, biological and nuclear reconnaissance missions for CBRN reconnaissance elements. It can transmit reconnaissance data to reconnaissance devices and command control centers. It is an advanced variant of the RKHM-4-01 CBRN vehicle. RKHM-5M it is capable of reconnaissance and transmitting all received data on the radiation, chemical and nonspecific biological situation in automatic mode. The RKHM-5M is equipped with a sampler kit to take samples of water, snow, soil, ice and even insects. 
The crew can now conduct reconnaissance without leaving the vehicle or at a distance of up to 1 km from the point of contamination using a remote chemical reconnaissance unit. RKHM-5 The RKHM-5 is a chemical reconnaissance vehicle for the airborne forces. It is based on the BMD-3. It was adopted by the Russian Airborne Forces in 2012. Designed for radiation, chemical and non-specific biological reconnaissance, ensuring the transfer of reconnaissance data to the automated troop control system. ARS-14KM The ARS-14KM is designed to disinfect and decontaminate military hardware in separate terrain and road sections. The truck is versatile and can be also used to extinguish fire, generate aerosol screens, make special solutions, heat water, wash servicemen. Engineering Equipment BREMD Armored Recovery Vehicle the Brem D vehicle is based on the BTRD amphibious armored personnel carrier and is used to evacuate damaged airborne IFVs from enemy fire, pull out stranded vehicles and assist in the repair and maintenance of amphibious combat vehicles. BTR MDM Armored Recovery Vehicle The vehicle is based on the BTR MDM amphibious armored personnel carrier and is used to evacuate damaged airborne IFVs from enemy fire pull out stranded vehicles and assist in the repair and maintenance of amphibious combat vehicles. REMKL Recovery Vehicle The REMKL is a repair and recovery vehicle. By Russian standards it is considered as light. It was designed to provide maintenance service and various repairs in field conditions for Ural and KAMAZ military trucks. This vehicle can also support other trucks that are used by the Russian armed forces. This machine can also recover damaged, immobilized, swamped, stuck, or overturned vehicles and tow them to maintenance units. KS-3574 Truck Crane The KS-3574 is designed for lifting and construction work on various sites. Load capacity 14 tons. SKO-10 Integrated Treatment Station The SKO-10 designed for water purification from natural pollutants, poisonous and radioactive substances, bacterial agents, highly toxic substances and water desalination. According to experts, the two SKO-10 stations are capable of supplying clean water to more than 2,000 troops in the field 24 hours a day. MPZ MVK Mobile Diving Station the MPZ MVK, in particular, provides for the delivery of divers and equipment to the dive site and diver activity in a given area at depths of up to 60 meters. PPB 32 Mobile Field Bath Bathing of the personnel is organized in a mobile field bathing truck body PPB 32. The vehicle has a washing compartment with eight shower nets and an undressing compartment. The PPB-32 van body is equipped with heating and air conditioning systems. PAK-200 Mobile Kitchen The PAK-200 and PAK-200M mobile kitchens are designed to provide food for troops in the field. The equipment available allows one vehicle to provide food for up to 200 people. The most important feature of the family of kitchens that distinguishes them from other systems of similar purpose is the ability to cook food on the march. The van is equipped with all the necessary equipment to ensure autonomous operation under various conditions. AC-7 Tank Truck BMMD Travmatism Armored Medical Vehicle the armored ambulance is airborne, floating and highly maneuverable, equipped with loading and unloading devices to place the wounded on stretchers, a winch to extract the wounded from ravines, gullies, crevices, and a jib crane to extract the wounded from armored objects. Drones
Orlon 10 Multifunctional UAV. The Orlon 10 is a reconnaissance, unmanned aerial vehicle. The Orlon 10 features a composite hull that reduces its radar signature. The price per system, which includes multiple drones and a control unit, is reportedly between $87,000 to $120,000. It is usually used in groups of two or three, in which the first is used for reconnaissance at a height of 1,000 to 1,500 meters, the second for electronic warfare and the third as a transponder which transmits information to the control center. One system can include up to five vehicles. Eleron 3SV Tactical Reconnaissance UAV The US$55,000 Eleron 3SV is a battery-powered, 4.3kg UAV traveling at speeds of from 70 to 130 km an hour. Flight endurance of up to 2 hours and maximum altitude of 5,000 meters. It is launched by throwing it and can land by flying close to the ground and shutting its engine off. Tachyon Tactical Reconnaissance UAV Tachyon is a Russian small unmanned aerial vehicle. Tachyon is designed to monitor, adjust fire, target designation, damage assessment. Effective when conducting aerial photography and video of the area at a distance, if necessary, can be used as a communication signal repeater. T4 the main purpose is an individual means of conducting reconnaissance and observation of a reconnaissance group. Helicopters Mi-35M The Mi-35M is a Russian transport and combat helicopter of round-the-clock operation. It is designed for destroying armored armament and equipment, landing and fire support of ground troops units, casualty evacuation, as well as transportation of cargo in the cockpit or on external sling. Mi-8 AMT-SHV The Mi-8 AMT-SHV is based on the Mi-8 AMT multi-role helicopter. Export version of the helicopter Mi-171SH. The helicopter retained the landing and landing capabilities and at the same time received a complex of guided weapons, similar to the Mi-24 helicopter, as well as reinforced armor protection and new avionics. Mi-26 T-2. The biggest and mightiest helicopter. It outperforms any existing heavy transport helicopter in terms of weightlifting capability and range of cargoes delivered. Mi-26 T-2 heavy lift helicopter is designed to provide airlifting of self-propelled machinery and non-self-propelled machinery, bulky cargoes weighing up to 20 tons both in the cargo cabin and on external sling. Mi-26 T-2 provides delivery of servicemen, cargoes and fuel to hard-to-reach areas with the capability of landing on unprepared helicopter pads. The airborne forces do not have their own aviation. Thank you for watching.